and you know the water dispensers on the fridges? Yeah, uh, his doesn't exactly dispense water, it dispenses tropical drinks. <laughs> There's a life-size cutout of Jimmy Buffett in his living room and a putting green in his kitchen. And he has both a basketball and tennis court in his front yard. And as a few of the guys mentioned earlier, we found out exactly how much a beast Carson is on the hardwood. So without further ado, a man that has truly touched our lives, please join me with a heartfelt welcome for our paired head friend. Mr. Coachman Carson. Who's the man? <laughs> we'll dispense with the category games. Tomorrow. tomorrow um, briefly before I read my speech, um, we all know that none of this happens without Mrs. Joyner, Mrs. Antonucci, and Mrs. Rain. We, they truly are the core of this program. So once again, if you could just clap for those people. speech, I, so I knew that if I tried to say it, I wouldn't get it all out, so here we go. A few years ago, at the end of a great discussion, one of my then stars of the class of 07, Brittany Visser, said, you know, Mr. Carson, we need to take what we do in here and bring it out there, and she gestured to the hallway, but I knew she also meant out there as in outside the walls of Vanguard. Oh. <laughs> like the 70s again. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Mr. Langford, I kid. I don't know where I go from there. Truly. Only up. Anyway, Brittany, Brittany gestured to the hallway and she said, out there, as in outside the walls of Vanguard, way out there. Well, then this year I was reading one of Ski's TOK papers, and she was writing about something that Socrates had said. And this is what Ski wrote in her TOK paper. I think we should use this as a model for our TOK class and a personal pledge that we set for ourselves. But like Brittany, I think Ski was thinking a bit more globally, as in we need to take this model, what we do in here, whether it's TOK class, or history or calculus class, or biology or psychology class, and bring it out there. And so that got me thinking about what it is these great kids have learned in here that they are just a few months away from bringing out there. I first thought about how they all understand that different is okay. They are all so different. They are separated by religion and geography and economics and yet they love each other. Look at this class. How much different can they be? The rest of the world allows religion and class and homeland to determine its conflict. Our kids know better. Unity. Unity and family are not mere words with which Mrs. Joyner sells our program. These young people are crazy about each other. Ask them, different is okay. Then I thought, then I thought about Caleb and Allison and others from Vanguard, <laughs> traveling to Haiti to help build a school with money that the juniors raised on this stage. The humility and the pride to truly put others before themselves, to hug AIDS orphans, to live like, well, third world citizens for a week during their senior spring break and come back and feel compelled to tell others about it. Thank you, Caleb and Allison. And for <laughs> Thank you, Caleb and Allison, and, and others for understanding that we are all better off when the weakest among us is strong. Something else these seniors will have no problem taking out there is their goofiness. <laughs> have, you heard, have you heard Ebony laugh? <laughs> Have you ever seen John and Sunil and Mark together with a straight face? No, you have not. How about Denisha and Janelle? Thank you. Better off. Really. My, guys, my point is that while we adults at times run around like our hair is on fire, a healthy sense of goofy is not a bad way to approach what's next. May these seniors keep their sense of humor forever, I want to see pictures in the coming years and see those same smiling faces. The next one is what we all are most familiar with. These seniors will offer promise and opportunity.
to a world that is short on both. Promise of better days on the local and global levels. We need help. Where do we start? Detroit or Darfur? North Korea? Afghanistan? Wall Street? How about Ocala? These young people, your, son, your sons and daughters, are equipped to handle what's ahead. We need that in a really big way. They will not blink at the challenge. They will not cower in the face of what needs to be fixed. They will not fail to raise their voices when they see that silence has not worked. Collectively and individually, this class of 09 gives out there an opportunity to evolve into something better and safer and more humane. I will end with this. There are people out there, there's that phrase again. There are people out there who, since they don't understand what we do in here, are suspicious. They think we turn our students into clones, into world citizens instead of American citizens, that we are giving them passports for some new world order. No, no, no. We have simply taught them, excuse me, we have simply taught them to question, to wonder. We have challenged them to be courageous enough to form their own opinion, not meekly accept ours. These wonderful young people from Ocala and Okawaha and Summerfield and Inverness and Beverly Hills and Lakanto and Citra and Dinellan and Fort McCoy and even Bulgaria. Where are you, Danny? That a girl. And even Bulgaria. They have developed a worldview, their own worldview. That doesn't make them less American. It doesn't make them un-American. It makes them ready. It makes them it makes them ready to take what they have learned in here, out there. You guys rock. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now let me now have a seat so we can get on with this. Love you guys. Thank you.